To write the net ionic equation for HCl plus CaCO3, we'll follow these steps here. So first we need to balance our molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. So that would be balanced with a 2 in front of the HCl. Next we need to write the states for each of these substances. HCl, that's usually aqueous, dissolved in water, solid, calcium carbonate, calcium chloride is going to be aqueous, it's in water, water is a liquid, and then carbon dioxide, that's a gas. So now we can split these apart into their ions, the ones that are soluble. HCl, that's soluble, it's in this aqueous solution. Group 1 for hydrogen, so that has a 1 plus charge. Chlorine group 17 it has a 1 minus. Calcium is in group 2, that has a 2 plus, and carbonate, CO3, that's a 2 minus. You can find that on a list of common polyatomic ions. Calcium, we said, is 2 plus, and the chlorine, we said, is a 1 minus. Water and CO2, we don't consider those to be soluble, so we won't do anything with those. So we split them apart. Let's write it all out now. This will be our complete ionic equation. We have H plus plus Cl minus, and I'm not going to write aqueous and everything after them right now, plus Ca2 plus, plus that CO3, the carbonate ion, 2 minus. And that is going to give us Ca2 plus, plus Cl minus, plus our water, and carbon dioxide. We also have to take into account these coefficients and subscripts. So we have two HCl molecules, so 2 times the H plus, 2 times the Cl minus. Then we have two chlorines here, so we need to put a 2 in front of the Cl minus there. So everything matches up on both sides of the equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. So these are the things that appear on both sides of the equation. Cl minus, two of those. Cl minus, two of those. They cross out. Ca2 plus, that's gone. But everything else is unique. It doesn't appear on both sides. From there, we can write the net ionic equation. And that looks like this. So that's the net ionic equation for HCl plus CaCO3. That's hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate. Do note with this reaction, there is an intermediary reaction that does happen too. But since we're interested in the net, the overall ionic equation, I didn't include that. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for HCl plus CaCO3. And thanks for watching.